everybody. Today I've got a video of my first two accessories for my Mavic Mini. This awesome little thing. Soon to be plenty of videos on my channel about this. I got a couple up or so far, but so my only two complaints right off the bat. Um, one of them was the controller. I'm not a fan of it. I like it. I can appreciate it. It's simple. It's universal, but I'm not a huge fan of it. So here's what I have to do when I'm getting ready to fly. Get my controller. I've got an iPhone 11 Pro Max. I've got just a regular little cheapy, you know, $7 Amazon rubbery case on it. Here's my process. I take the case off, which is no big deal, but it just, it's another thing I gotta carry around. And then get it loaded up into here while I hit the power button multiple times, turning it on and off. Get it plugged in. Not yet, maybe. There it goes. So get it plugged in and then bump it off again. The uh, camera doesn't work in the front because it's covered by the controller. And then you've got kind of this awkward looking mess. Like, it's not straight. These are crooked, you know, they don't really fit perfect. And there's no way that you're going to get a phone with a case in there. At least not this, and this is a pretty thin case. So, that brings me to my two first accessories that I got for this bad boy. Got them both on Amazon. I got the cord. I'll show you the cord first because that's simple. So the cord is about 12 inches long. And let me go ahead and unplug this stock one so I can compare. So here's the uh, one it comes with and then here's the new one. You can see the length different. This one difference. This one is about maybe three inches, maybe four inches. And then you've got this one, which is roughly 12. So, still plugs in here like normal. Still got a little angle. Now this one is a little bit bulkier. It sticks out a little bit more. But look how much more you got to work with. Oh cool, it even comes with a little pouch, little screen cleaner, and the directions. Okay, so this part mounts into the controller where your phone would normally go. So just like that, really simple. Took me five seconds. And then you've got like a ball joint right here and this is all made out of aluminum. This part, unfortunately, is made out of plastic, but go ahead and put that on, snug it up a little bit. But now check that out. So even if you're not flying with a tablet, See, I got my phone here. Let's split it open. And that is a really strong spring, by the way. And there are, whoops, I guess it does matter. There are ports right here, like uh, openings for your cord. Obviously, it comes out of this side, so this side's got the bigger opening. But that is so much nicer because I don't need to see the joysticks. It's not going to interfere, interfere with the antennas, antennae, antennas, whatever. Let me go ahead and flip it around. So 
So this is on there, it, it's just barely snug, but it's on there nice and tight. I got plenty of room to plug that in. Now I personally will probably, when I'm using my phone, I'll kind of route it around like this. That way there's no uh, slack dangling. Just go right around there, you don't even feel it. This isn't going anywhere. Phone's not moving. And another cool thing. Anytime I want to do anything else, I gotta set this thing down. This one comes with a lanyard. Feels like a nice strong clip. You can wear this around your neck now, and then it's just gonna dangle. And so long as you got this in nice and tight, it's not going anywhere because the controller doesn't weigh that much. All the weight now is in your phone and in this, you know. Your controller's not gonna go anywhere. But, if you are lucky enough to have a tablet, wow, there's a strong spring. So here's where this gets cool. Now I've got a full, literal full-size tablet here. Let's see if it might be better without the light. No, not really. So this is holding my full-size iPad. This is, I believe, a sixth generation. Um, it's not a mini, it's not a pro. I believe it's the 9.7 inch screen. So imagine flying on that bad boy, man. I am excited, I can't wait. So this one I'll have to tighten it up a little bit more, but even still, as long as you're not throwing this thing around, this is sturdy and solid. Plenty of room with the cord still. Honestly, like you could, I sh if I would have thought of it, I would have ordered a shorter one. But I thought with the iPad it might be a little bit too short, being 12 inches. But I was wrong. These two, I will link them in the description below. Um, the cord was $7.99, tablet mount was $21.99. Both relatively cheap, but something I believe just about everybody could get use out of. Even if I didn't have an iPad, I was still ordering one of these, these mounts, because I hate taking my phone out and mashing it up into the case. It just, it's gonna be so much simpler being up here. So, thank you guys for watching. If you wanna see these in action, I will definitely have some uh, video going up after this video sometime making sure they both work um going over pros and cons if any so yeah thanks for watching guys